Good morning keto followers. Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, today is Thursday. I normally do a midweek video on Thursday. Um, today is Thursday, my day off. And I'm just going to do a little video today of what we get up to. It's actually another fast day for me. So I'm only going to eat 500 or less calories today. And yeah. The mornings are getting cooler. I was very lazy this morning and did not get up for the gym. I think knowing that I had a day off and the kids didn't have to be at school until nine, he had a lazy sleeping day today. And my body needed it. Um, since doing yoga on Monday, um, my body has been very um, aching a little bit around my sides and my legs. So. As much as people say yoga isn't really a workout, it really stretches out your body and, you know, really gives your body a good workout because you're using all these joints and muscles that you don't normally use. So my body has been a bit aching this week, but I still have gotten up um, on Tuesday and yesterday and went to the gym. Um, but this morning my body's like, no, we need a rest. We're sleeping in. So we did. So oh, we've just dropped the kids off at school. And by we, I mean me and... Where is she? Me and this fluffy little girl here. She's annoyed because I've stopped walking so we could do our little video. But anyway, all right, we'll keep walking. So yeah, we've just dropped the kids off at school. It's nine o'clock. We're going out for a morning walk this morning. Just something light, but still exercise. So um, we're just gonna do an hour walk around our suburb and then head home. I'm gonna have some omelette and spinach and then see how the rest of the day goes. So I hope everyone's having a good cruisy week and enjoying their keto journey. Even if you're not doing keto guys, you don't have to be doing keto to follow me. Some people just like following me because they think I'm strange. All right, so I'll update you guys later on through the day and also update you with what I've been eating and my calorie intake throughout the day. So this is what I do on my day off and this is what I eat on a 500 calorie fasting day. Alrighty, so we've been for our walk, we've had our omelette and you know just our egg and spinach omelette and you know it's hard on my day off because all I want to do is sit around the house and relax and watch movies and read books but the fridge is there full of food and if I stay home I'm just going to sit around and eat all day and get back into my old habits where I would do no housework, no work, just sit around and binge eat all day. So no, I've got to keep myself busy, especially on fast days. Um, I can't just sit around, I can't watch TV because, you know, old habits of let's have a bag of you know blah blah to watch the show with or let's just have a few punnets of strawberries to watch this show with and you know on a fast day I've got to be strict I've got my fitness pal out I've got you know I've lodged already what I'm having for breakfast lunch and dinner so I can't break this day it's 500 calories it's one day gosh tomorrow I can eat all the keto food that I want but today I've got to be strict so to keep myself busy I thought Easter is coming up and the Easter Bunny is going to be visiting our campsite over Easter. This Easter Bunny hasn't even gone Easter egg shopping yet. So I'm going to go keep myself busy this morning and go get some Easter eggs for the kitties. Not for me, unfortunately. It's going to be hard this Easter because chocolate is my thing. I love chocolate. Oh, chocolate is the thing that... You know I go to for everything I'm tired I have some chocolate I'm emotional I have some chocolate you know I go out with friends for movies or dinner or I want chocolate ah. so you know this way of life is t teaching myself that I've got to be smarter with my food choices I can't binge eat on chocolate and I don't really need it and also guys I'm taking away with me at Easter some zucchini brownies chocolate zucchini brownie slice so I'll have to show you the recipe for that as well. So you still can have your chocolate, you can have your raw cacao powder and your cacao nibs and things like that. We don't need to be like, oh, keto way of life means I can't eat sweets or chocolates ever again. It's a lifestyle, it's not torture. You've got to make it work. So yeah, I'm ready to go now. I'm gonna go do my Easter egg shopping and just keep 
keep busy today because on my fast days, I know a lot of people go, oh, it's so easy on my fast days. I don't have to think about food or anything. No, I am so the opposite. My brain's like, oh, you can't eat anything today. Only 500 calories. <laughs> Guys, I just wanted to show you this while I'm walking around Woolworths. No wonder why people hate eating healthy. Because it is too damn expensive. I can't believe it. Like, those ice creams on special, $4. Chocolate cakes full of junk and sugar, on special, $5. Like, this is ridiculous. I'm just wandering around Woolworths because I've got time today. And I've just noticed, well, I've noticed this for a while now. But all the bad junk sugary foods are always on special. You know, there is so much junk food here, but no, I want to be healthy and buy bacon. I'm spending $9 for a kilo of bacon. This is crazy. Of course, I need this whole packet for camping. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is like cream cheeses, yogurt, berries, bacon, normal cheese fruit vegetables it is so expensive i also need cream cheese for camping um of course you know we've got to have our omelets but yeah no wonder why people hate eating healthy because everything is so bloody expensive look five dollars for a cabbage no wonder why mums go out and buy two loaves of bread it's only a dollar fifty a loaf see them making their kids Vegemite toast vanilla not making you know yummy chili cabbage stir fry with you know mixed beans and kale because a little bunch of kale like that is four dollars fifty that's a whole tub of ice cream I wonder why people are choosing sugar over veggies this is crazy I know farmers you know they need money and to you know they need this money to survive but oh my god start making the junk food so more expensive but look at this bottle of water four dollars three dollars 39 for a bottle of water i'm like oh okay or you can get two bottles of sugary coke for six bucks what a ripoff that is disgusting oh that's my rant <sighs> i know i know i go in for one thing i come back with a million things so, Easter bunny shopping done. And then I got myself some Easter treats for camping. One kilo of bacon. And of course, you can't have pancakes without cream cheese. <sighs> now to my daughter's Easter hat parade. For those who don't know about Easter hat parades, um, a lot of schools in Australia do Easter hat parades where they let the little kids, the primary school kids, celebrate Easter by making a festive, creative Easter hat. And they all spend time at home or at school making this funky, cool Easter hat. And then they get to show it all off for all the parents and all their friends at school by having an Easter hat parade just before the school holidays start, which is this Friday. So my daughter's been so excited, she's been making her Easter hat and she's excited for the parade today. So mummy and daddy are having the day off and we're going to go and watch the Easter hat parade at her school. And that starts in 20 minutes so I better go. First got to go home and hide these eggs. Alrighty, so another spontaneous thing, I'm always doing spontaneous things. Um, hubby and I have just signed up for the City to Surf for 2017. Um, we did City to Surf 2016 and it was great, we had fun. So the City to Surf is a 13 kilometer fundraising run, walk or jog and you know anyone can do it. You just got to pay the 70, I think it's $75 joining fee. Um, you get a team together, you pick a charity that you want to fundraise for and you spend 
an hour or two hours walking all the way through the streets of Sydney um, doing the 13 kilometer um, trail and you raise money for a good cause so I'm excited again to participate in this um, you know you guys know I love fitness and I love you know getting out there and supporting charities so this year I'm doing it for White Ribbon Australia so White Ribbon Australia um, you know, they fundraise to create awareness to stop violence against women and to look after women who have been through domestic violence and children. And their main point of fundraising is so they can get enough money to go through schools. That's the main thing that I like. Um, they go through schools and they do talks to children. They get their message across that violence is wrong in any way but violence against women must be stopped. And they're, they're pretty switched on. They're starting at the younger generation to make sure our future generation is domestic violence free. So yeah, guys, if you want to donate to our charity page to see how much funds we can raise, we're trying to raise as much as we can for White Ribbon Australia to get those guys out there through the schools to help children understand that violence is wrong. So if you'd like to support us and donate to our cause for our 13 kilometer walk, I will add the link to my fundraising page below in this comment. Anyway, I've just arrived at my daughter's school. There are so many cars here and so many parents, so it is going to be full on. And hubby is not here yet. As usual, he's always late. I should have learnt now, especially with men, to tell them to get here half an hour before the actual real time. So instead of 11.30, I should have said, it starts at 11. Waiting, waiting, where is he? Oh, here he is. Hey. You're in my vlog for today. <laughs> One Easter concert down, another one to go. So my son's preschool Easter concert is on today at two o'clock. All right, so I've done good. I kept myself busy for an hour. It's now 1.30. Um, I've just, you know, tidied up the house a bit, edited some vlogs, and I've got half an hour now until my son's Easter concert at preschool. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch. And that is just gonna be about 300 grams of broccoli and a poached egg and that will be my lunch today for my 500 calorie fast day and i also just remembered it's thursday the first thursday of every month i have my women's group meet up um, i run an organization to support women all over our city our town um, to help them get fit get healthy motivate them inspire them and to make sure they're making time out for themselves you know mothers grandmothers working mums stay-at-home mums mum studying things like that um, I am going to do a meditation and relaxation class tonight for the women in our area. So I better start getting that organized because that's at 7.30. So I better make sure I have my dinner before. Yeah, so as I said, it's 1.30. I'm having lunch, which is my veggies and my egg. I'm starting to get the migraine happening. Um, sometimes when I do fast days, I get really, really bad headaches and it can last a long, long time. And that is because I have not had enough salt today same as when you're on keto and the first you know few days into it you get really bad migraines that's because your body is low on salt and electrolytes so with this meal I'm gonna add a whole ton of salt and if the migraine isn't gone within an hour I'm just gonna add some more salt to a cup of warm water and drink that So today for lunch, because I was home and I'm all alone and, ooh, that sounds like a good theme for a horror movie. Um, so today because I was at home by myself and it was peace and quiet, I tried mindful eating practice, also known as intuitive eating. So what we normally do on our day-to-day -day life, I've said many times, we're always so stressed and busy and, you know, we take food for granted. We just shove it in our gob and we don't really, you know, savour it or 
you know, listen to our thoughts and enjoy the food, enjoy the taste, enjoy the smell, actually know when you're full. Um, and that's mindfulness eating. So today I wanted to practice mindful eating, which is pretty much you turn the TV off, you turn all electronic or gadgets off, and you just make time out for yourself in the present moment. And you sit there in the quiet, you don't think about what you gotta do next today, you don't think about what happened yesterday, you don't wonder, You don't let your mind wander off to, I need to check Facebook, I'm gonna go onto YouTube and watch so and so. You just focus on the present moment, you relax, you enjoy your meal and you just focus on what you're eating, mindful eating. So I did that today at lunch. For lunch today in the sun because, um, so yeah, if you haven't tried mindful eating before or look it up and see the benefits of it, it relaxes your body, it calms you, it de-stresses you. Make time out for yourself, relax and enjoy your food. So I did and it was nice. Anyway, it's two o'clock. I've got to go to the preschool concert. so pretty all right guys so we're back i've just picked the kids up from school we've gone to the park and played for an hour while holding on to this sweaty melting sugar temptation for the last 40 minutes i've been very good and i have not eaten it this is killing me right now all right it is 5 30 i am starving because i know it's a low cow day so i can't stop thinking about food so to make the time up till six o'clock, I'm going to start preparing my food. Anyway, this is my dinner tonight. 200 grams of zucchinis, um, 250 grams of pumpkin and about 12 grams of baby spinach. All up, this is 155 calories, a nice, easy, low-cal meal, but very filling. My tip, guys, if you want to stay full for longer on fasting days, always add veggies to your meals. it's really low in calories but when you look at it guys it's a lot of food that is a lot of food for dinner and it's very very healthy of course being a fast day I've got to make sure I put salt on my food um, I had salt on my food with my lunch and my headache went away within 10 minutes so I've just got to remember to you know keep salting my foods and stay on top of that other than that it's going to be a delicious dinner. And dinner is done. A delicious bowl of zucchini, spinach and pumpkin. So it is 9.40, I have just finished teaching my meditation class to the lovely bunch of ladies from our community and I have done well. I just drank water, one of the ladies brought a dip and cheese and biscuits and I didn't have any. Um, so I can finally say my fast day is over, I am buggered, I am ready for bed. It's funny, when you're teaching a relaxation and meditation class, you're not really relaxating because you're focusing on making sure everyone else is relaxing so you become more tense crazy anyway guys that is the end of my vlog for today on what i eat on a 500 calorie fast day a day in the life of me and whatever exciting things i get up to so thank you for following don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to watch more of these videos if you want me to do a video on something else just comment below and let me know other than that i hope you enjoy my vlogs thank you guys once again for my 500 followers on my youtube channel don't forget you can also check out my website which is www.laurasketowayoflife.wordpress.com or you can check out my posts on instagram as well at laura's keto way of life so Tomorrow's Friday and it's the end of the week before school holidays start and don't forget I've also got one week 
before our Easter camping trip. That is going to be exciting. I can't wait to take you guys camping with us. What am I going to eat on camping? You'll have to see and wait and find out. All right, guys, have a good night. Have a good rest of your week. And I'll speak to you next time on Monday Why, when it's my weekly update. Night. Ha, ha, ha.